If you guys think I'm really not going to give you some sort of free content this evening, you are just mistaken. So let me bring this into you for something that I've started noticing that people aren't catching on to. And even as a professional or a master, as we may call me, um, I have missed this a few times. So I'm in a friend's account, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with inventory, manage inventory. Okay? You're going to see some of the stuff he's selling. It's completely okay. What I want you to focus on here is fix stranded inventory. Dun, dun, dun. Here's the deal. Amazon, without telling you, is going to put some products into stranded inventory and just leave them there. They're stuck. You have nothing you can do with them until you actually take a look and try to figure out what's going on. So, if you go to stranded inventory, there's a few different things you can do. There's some more complex things, which I'll go to in some more like advanced material, but I'm going to show you the two basic options. So, like right now, we have these Apple assignment books um, for 12 bucks. If I wanted to relist this item, and you can look here, I've create new listing. Let's go with this indicator bulb. Sounds great. This would be a great one to give a try to. So I'll give a create a new listing, and it's going to pull up a new screen for me. It's going to pop this over and says right now this is selling for about $5. So it's going to want me to first go down here to a condition and hit new. Then it's going to pop it up, and I'm going to hit match low price. Now, I'm doing this for an example, so if I hit save and finish, you give this thing about 30 minutes, it's actually going to add that item back into the inventory for you. You've created the new listing, you're good to go. So, you're going to see a lot say create removal order. You can actually take this item number, message Amazon, and say, hey, yo, what happened to this? Uh, but here's another one. Let's go page two here. And these are all my damaged items in this account. So you see this pops up to the top. Now let's go to this book cover one. We could go, okay, well, I want to I want to remove this, this book cover. Or I want to put this book cover back to sale. It's going to do that. It's going to ask you what the type is. New. You could. Now say you go, well... I'm not going to make any money off of that. You can actually go over to this and click create a removal order. Now it's going to pull that removal order for you and you're going to be able to fill that. But it's also going to show you all those items that are unfulfillable. So you're going to look here and you're going to see like it says, well something's been distributed or damaged. This is a great example where you highlight the SKU number and this F this FN SKU, Fulfillment Network SKU, and you create a case and go, hey, yo, uh, my inventory was damaged with a Amazon partner distributor. And I would like to do that. Now, if you really want to get fancy, you can download the report, which is right here. I can hit request download, and it's going to pull this stuff for me. It's going to take just a few minutes, but it's going to give you this entire stranded inventory report. And this really allows you to go in here and see what's going on. Now, like I said, it takes a few moments, and I think that this is probably one of the least utilized areas for all Amazon sellers. The more you learn in this area, the better you get. So now you're going to see it open this up. We're going to, we're going to hit Command A, Command C. This is for Mac. Um, Amazon, you're going to hit Control C, that kind of stuff. Or PC, I'm sorry. We're going to open up Excel, and we're going to paste it. So now what we're going to be able to see here is what's going on. This is they're incomplete, they're inactive. It's going to give us a status, why this has happened. Let's see, some of them are a pricing error. Some of them are out of stock. Some are this. So you can go in here and see a clear view of this, and you can actually talk to the Amazon seller support and see what they can do to help you out with this. So that's going to be my tip of the night for you guys, is to go to inventory, manage inventory, fix stranded inventory. I was doing this on my account today, and you'd be amazed at what was sitting in there, and how I was able to find some items and sell them pretty quickly, of items that were just sitting there that most people would just think were completely gone, but they're there for your taking. So have a great night, and I will see you guys all tomorrow.